welcome to Scene Through Glass. Welcome to quite an unexpected video. I just got a message from Authentic Motor Cars and they said, have I ever driven a Spiker? The simple answer is no. I don't think I've even sat in a Spiker, let alone really spent any time around one at all. So right now, I'm headed to Authentic Motor Cars to correct that because yes, I'm gonna be driving a Spiker. This is gonna be one of the most rushed and sort of unprepared videos I've ever done, but who cares? When you get an opportunity like this, you don't turn it down. Here it is, the Spiker C8 Spider. A truly wacky and out there and rare supercar from I think the early to mid 2000s. We're gonna find out a lot more with Shannon in a second. Top line facts and figures, it's a 4.2 litre V8 from Audi, around 400 horsepower, but no real sort of assistance of any way. Manual gearbox, just an absolute sort of hot rod brute, but in, an arguably beautiful Dutch supercar body. So anyway, yes, let's jump on in. Man, you're gonna to have to explain what all of these different things do, Absolutely, but yeah. for now we'll jump in. I have to say the color of the leather and the quality of the leather is amazing. Uh, do I need this key again or does this go in my pocket You can now? just put it on your pocket or put it right in the console. Okay, maybe I'll just put it there. Door to pull down is pretty self-explanatory. There we go, have I done that enough? Let's hope I'm gonna do one more slam because I don't know if I... There we go, okay, perfect. Um, so yes, lots to show you before we even turn this car on, because look at the beautiful and bespoke sort of buttons and gauges and all different elements, but everything's just kind of machined in a really beautiful way. And would you agree, Shannon, this is probably the most iconic element of any Spyker. It, it gets the most questions. Wow, look at that shift lever, and it's just, it's exposed shift linkage. Spyker chose to make it an art piece as well as functional. It's a relatively traditional sort of pattern there right does it feel Absolutely. odd to use nope, or it's you... side to side okay. you know front to back it and it's got sense. a little push button for reverse obviously this being the spider we have no roof right now it's the weather for it up here in seattle incredible view out it really gives you a proper sense of occasion and whilst this car is how many years old now 12 13, 13 years, years old, years old. This is 2006 apart from maybe some of the sort of you know the dials and things like that this could be a very new car i, I think. think so and a really exciting car so yes seat belts on um we are going to go for a little bit of a casual cruise. Um, time, as always, is up against me today. So uh, a huge thanks to Shannon, because you've got about three other car shows that you're supposed to be attending. Yeah. And he's just uh, been very, very patient waiting for me to do all my stuff. So I appreciate that. I'm just going to bring the seat forward ever so slightly. They're very comfortable seats. Um, there we go, in neutral. So there is that amazing yep. ignition key. So up with that. Ignition on. And then... <laughs> Lovely growl. So good. Window up so ever so slightly. But yes, that is that 4.2 litre Audi V8. Um, do we have a handbrake or anything? How does that? The handbrake's on my side. Oh, okay. Yeah, is it? Off. Is it? It's, it's off. off. Okay, fine. <laughs> I was going to say because that would be we become very good <laughs> right. friends very quickly. This is right? when your passenger wants you to slow down. Yeah. Exactly, that's so mad. Um, but yes, okay, I guess here we go. How low are we at the front? Uh, it's got pretty good clearance. There's probably okay. at least three and a half inches of clearance. Okay, fine. We're going to give it a go. Um, the big thing that you were saying on the way here is very little aid, but it does have power steering, right? No power steering. Oh, no power no. steering. Rock okay. and pinion. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's going to be my workout for the day. God, the noise is amazing, and it feels kind of lively. You know, it, it feels like it feels like it wants a corner. It reminds me, actually, I think you mentioned it earlier, of a Caterham. Yeah. That's what it like. I think you said that earlier. I remember I had that Caterham 620R or something. And the car weighs under 3,000 pounds. I have no idea what that is. In, in, <laughs> <laughs> It's a really enjoyable drive. Yes. Like it's a really smooth it's but also raucous drive. Sort of a car that you put on, you're wearing this yeah. car. And it's got that air, as you say, like almost like a movie, like I don't know if you're a Bond baddie or a goodie, yeah. I don't really know what's going on, but a really small steering wheel. Yes. Really little small steering wheel. Again, that reminds me of the Caterham. on the brake pedal. AP racing brakes. Okay. I know you said it earlier about Monaco, but it's not, it's not just Monaco, it's the, you want to cruise the Riviera, so thank you for yes. bringing me to a lake, but it's, you know, right. it's got that. And what was the 
the price back in the day? Do you remember this what it was? This was 295,000 US dollars. In today's money with appreciation, that'd be about $375,000 US. Wow, so yeah, not cheap, right up there, but you do get that kind of bespoke feel. You're definitely not gonna see another one drive past you on the road. In terms of production numbers, do you know how many they... They only made 124 spiders. 124 spiders. This is the 84th produced. Wow. They made oh. about 95 coops, which they called the La Violette. Okay, so 95 coops. Yeah, it's got just such a nice, it's such a nice driving experience. That's what surprised me. I just thought it was going to be maybe a little bit more of a handful. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it does step out on you if you wanted to, but I thought it was going to be a bit more twitchy. But it actually feels really like nice and smooth. Almost finesse. There's yeah. a finesse with driving it. That's exactly it. It's the only car I can think of that doesn't have a, a windshield pillar to look over. You're just looking through this beautiful glass, unobstructed view. That's exactly it. And so it almost feels like you're in an old Le Mans race car right. or something. Yeah. Like that's the thing is it's it's got that kind of like D-type, Jaguar D-type kind of feel or something. Oh, I really like it. It's not mega quick, but right. I suppose, I mean, it's a 13-year-old car, right? with a hunking gray V8, even despite and, its lightness. And that's why I think this car was a little misunderstood. People were expecting, because of the price point, it to be hypercar quick, supercar quick, and it, it wasn't about that. What it is about is a bespoke experience. It was about selling this car to an individual that already had the Ferrari, they already had the Lamborghini, they already had the Porsche, but they really wanted something very individual and unique if you buy a Spyker. That's a really good point, actually, yeah. It's more of an experience than actually about the lap times or attacking that corner. It's just the whole environment that you're in and the emotions you're experiencing, and which I think, you know, go, go a long way in this world where a lot of cars these days are becoming so bland, like. It definitely gives you that tickle, tickle down your spine. Yeah, oh, don't get me wrong, that's there for sure. <laughs> But uh, I think you, you said another good point earlier where it was kind of the, the Pagani or almost the Koenigsegg of its day of these kind of like super bespoke, beautifully machined cars that weren't necessarily going to beat uh, a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a McLaren on the day, but it, it was more than that. It was an art piece and something to, you know, yeah, just to feel special in and around. And it's definitely, definitely got that. much for this by the way I'm so so pleased to have this opportunity I don't think I ever thought I would be driving a spiker it's so cool <laughs> that's that's the uh, addictive part though. I that's know the, yeah. I just want to always have that roar yeah it encapsulates so many of the best elements of so many other cars absolutely you know you're right, I mean, would you buy it over a period Ferrari or Lambs? And probably not, but if you've already got those right. and you're looking for something that's a different experience and gonna make you feel different, that's where this yeah. ticks the box and comes into the forefront. I'm genuinely really sad to be dropping this back. Like, <laughs> I know. It's so weird because it's, you know. I, I would love to take this car on a trip. Yeah, you know, it's, it's uh, this or is the take perfect, it for the like, day. rally car. Take it know. up to a twisty mountain oh road. Oh my god, oh, I've got to drive to LA in the right. Spiker. Like, you'd be so, you'd be <laughs> grinning the whole way. Every fuel station, you'd be like, yes, that's my, my Spiker. Dude, thank you so, so much. I'm so happy. I'm yeah. It's happy you got to experience the car. There we go. I, one, I, one I won't forget. Definitely unexpected. And just knows it right Knows in here. Yeah. 
and thanks for coming down because you've got some other awesome stuff in the yeah. plan, for sure. That collection's pretty amazing. Oh, incredible. <laughs> so then you, you usually you leave it in gear rather uh, than do Yeah, the just put brake? it in gear, yeah, because okay. when the car's hot, the, the brakes tend to heat up and stick. Of course. So, and then just uh, switch it down. So, uh, Easy squeezy. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Too cool, man. Thank you. Time